All right, so let's start with uh, grease pencil and uh, modifiers, okay? So, so far, um, we haven't used any of this stuff. We're just drawing directly, working with layers, uh, just learned vertex color and material, so on and so forth. So uh, we can also apply uh, modifiers to, uh, to uh, grease pencil, okay? And one of the more famous one is this. Um, build modifier. It's a great modifier that kind of simulate time-lapse uh, when you were growing, uh, when you were drawing your animation. So um, I applied it right here and as you can see everything here disappeared so that, like when the canvas just started. So let's hit the play button. There it is. So it's kind of like drawing in sequence what I did when I was fixing all those backgrounds. So not unless you plan this correctly, um, uh, because a lot of the fill brush that we do, we just filled it up and then we kind of fix it so they don't really look like we were painting or drawing. So, but it kind of shows you the buildup, okay? So this particular one, the transition is grow. I can change this to shrink, okay? So let's play that right here. Okay, and it simply just reverse the thing. All right, and then we have uh, fade. All right, like I said, it's because uh, most of the things we do here, it's uh, not probably gonna work exactly because when you're feeling in, you just wanna fill in all the back and whatnot. It doesn't look too good. All right, so I'm gonna put that back to grow. The mode is sequential, and we have concurrent. It's concurrent. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's like you're like if you're going with like two hands, you know, ambidextrous, or you know, basically all the strokes feels they're all gonna happen at the same time. Hence concurrent. All right, there we go. So it's trying to finish them, and then whatever the last thing you did will be shown next. So. All right, so it didn't quite work with this particular one, but I'll show some example later on where build would work as it's supposed to. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the playback here. Let me go back to one, get rid of build. All right, let's now talk about this one, um, the noise modifier. So watch this when I play, oh, I forgot to fill that in, but anyway. So job here is to, um, if you watch the animation, Totoro didn't even blink here. The nose did uh, move a bit when it got hit by that drop, okay? So um, all I did is copy and paste the drop three times. Uh, and then the first one, uh, I kind of changed the spread of the, uh, of the droplet dissipating. And then the other one, I just kind of copy and paste because there was an issue around 140 here. I just got rid of it, okay? So this is homework for you guys. You guys will have to... Uh, uh, animate the nose kind of tingling each time it gets hit by that uh, water drop and if you want to incorporate Totoro um, blinking when that happens to totally up to you that's like a bonus point okay however everything kind of looks very static meaning it looks like I just copy and pasted the whole thing or it's just a background and then which is exactly what it is all this thing is drawn on frame one so it stays the entire playback, not unless I introduce a new stroke. So only the animation here would be the water droplet. However, we can make it look like it was drawn sequentially leading to the end if we add a modifier, which is kind of cool. All right, so let's stop this one first. Let's bring it to frame one. So you can see here, notice that, I'll, I'll do another playback. Notice that how it's very static. The lines are super static. Okay? All right. Go back to frame one. Let's add the modifier noise. Okay, right off the bat, right there, you see what happens. So, position, so it kind of offsets it and it's a little too much. All right, if I play this, let's play this right now. All right, right there, it has its, it's kind of cool in a way. Yeah, you know, it has a charm to it that it's kind of very shaky, you know, but it's not what we want. Uh, we want to normalize that a bit. So, simply drag position back. Okay, as you can see here, it's starting to settle down, right? So I'm going to go, let's say, with point 
one first. Let's see how jittery this one is. All right, right there, uh, it's starting to look like it's animated already, but it's still, it's a way too much still. But I'm going to stop it. So let's go to uh, point zero 0.08. Point zero 0.08. All right, I'm still seeing a lot of activity on the eye right here. So, all right, let's drop it down some more. Maybe point zero 0.05. Point zero 0.05. All right, that looks like, that looks pretty good. The only thing I don't like about this mod, noise modifier right now is that um, it's affecting the background as well, okay? So, and I just have this one. I mean, when we composite this, we're not going to have this thing running or being rendered with the background, you know? It's going to be uh, transparent, and then we'll composite and put the background there. So that's not a, really an issue, so just kind of ignore that. Kind of also jittering background you because normally that would be kind of solid so all right let me go back here uh point zero maybe i'm going to go point zero three here okay let's see yeah, let me stop that one gotta make the cycle back all right i'm gonna go point zero one all right so very minimal right here Actually, that's not too bad, but it might be better if we're just increasing that by a bit. 0 0.02. All right. 0 0.04. All right. I think 0 0.04, maybe 0 0.03 would probably work. I mean, this is basically uh, your own... Uh, Preference at this point, 0 0.03. All right, I might go with 0 0.03. So it kind of gives it that a little bit of offset, you know. So it looks like it's just kind of moving about. All right, it looks like it's drawn multiple times, you know, instead of just one static one. So really cool stuff. All right, so I'm going to stop it right here. Okay, and then I'm going to save this one because I'll share this video to the class later on. I'm in the Blender file, so you'll have access to this uh, later on. And uh, we'll go back to the build modifier. So I'll start another project here. Okay, and um, we're going to add the... Uh, um, I mean, I'm going to uh, animate and um, draw. Sorry, say animate. Do a really crappy uh, Walt Disney signature. I don't even know the Walt Disney signature. I can kind of imagine it, but there goes nothing. So, okay, I already failed. Something like that. <laughs> All right, terrible. All right, I'm fired. Okay, anyway. Let's say that's Walt Disney right there. Okay, let's go back to our modifier. Build modifier. Okay, and we're doing this 100 frames, so there you go. Isn't that kind of cool? All right. That looks like Disney-ry, but anyway. So <laughs> you increase this 200 frames. Let's see if it will adapt it to 200 frames. You can press Home. All right, here's another really cool uh, shortcut right here. So if you were kind of zoom out like so, and you press home on your keyboard. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Well, it's supposed to zoom in on the, the length of your, um, of your uh, keyframe. But this one, since it's just a modifier right there, so it didn't quite work. So, but if you have home, uh, if you press home and you have multiple keys, what well, it zooms in on all the keys. All right, so I slowed it down to 200 frames, and while Disney is terrible, uh, right there. So that's the build modifier, right? So if you just want something kind of cool, and you got a good penmanship, and you can do some really cool signature, you want to make that as your logo. It's just as simple as putting the build uh, uh, modifier in there. Let's uh, grow this to uh, concurrent, as you can see here. It just starts writing like your ambidextrous. Right, with multiple hands. 
I don't like this. Oh, anyway, there you go. All right, align start, and you can change it. Align and, uh, you know, so you can have a different uh, start, you know, depending on how you plan the signature and whatnot. And that's all. So, all right, so that should uh, uh, conclude our uh, modifier in Grease Pencil using the build and the mirror, uh, sorry, noise modifier. Of course, there's more right here. Uh, uh, simplify is pretty cool. Um, there's other useful stuff, but for now that's the build and the noise modifier that you can use for your project.